In the previous lessons, we've learned about the ovarian cycle and saw the stages of follicle maturation. In these next few videos, we're going to talk about the hormonal regulation of the ovarian cycle. We will learn about the organs that play a role in the system, which hormones are secreted from, from each organ, and the role of each hormone. You may have noticed that the title of the video is Hormonal Regulation of the Menstrual Cycle, and not only the ovarian cycle. This is because the ovaries are not the only organ that goes through changes. The uterus also goes through some uh, significant changes as it gets ready for potential pregnancy. These changes are known as the uterine cycle. The uterine cycle, together with the ovarian cycle, make up the menstrual cycle. So we're going to cover the hormonal regulation and changes of both the ovaries and the uterus. In this first video, we're just going to go over the basics to get, uh, to get a general understanding of the cycle. First, we need to cover the main events that occur during the menstrual cycle. In the ovaries, or during the ovarian cycle, there are three main events. The follicle maturation, the ovulation of the oocyte, and the formation of the corpus luteum. During the uterine cycle, we see one main event, the growth of the uterus as it prepares for embryo implantation. Obviously, there are a lot more details and stages we need to go through before we can understand exactly how all this happens. But for now, let's just keep it simple and introduce the five main hormones of the menstrual cycle. The first hormone you need to know is the follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and you can probably guess its role by its name. What it does is stimulate the follicles to mature. The second hormone is called the luteinizing hormone, or LH. And this hormone plays two main roles. It triggers the ovulation of the oocyte, and it forms and maintains the corpus luteum. The third and fourth hormone are estradiol and progesterone. And these hormones prepare the uterus for embryo implantation. The fifth and last hormone is the gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GNRH. This hormone controls the menstrual cycle by acting as the main regulator and the initiator of the cycle. Without it, all the events we can see on the screen that make up a normal menstrual cycle could not exist. And that is it! From now on, things will get a little more complicated, so please remember these four events that we've mentioned, the names of the hormones, and their main roles. It will really help us understand the next few videos. So join us as we dive deeper into the menstrual cycle.